I don't know how many how many of them actually read the the, the letters. Mm-hmm. Um, I know at least a handful do because they email me and letting me know that they appreciate them. And so, oh, that's, so cool. yeah. um, that's good. But, but f- the most of the students, I have no idea if they're reading uh, these letters, if they're, um, you know, cause, cause as we have already sort of already covered, there's, there's a lot of stuff going on in students' lives right now. Mm-hmm. And they see this letter as like, it's not recognizable this isn't a normal thing that most professors do, right? I mean, what is this? I'm just going to set it aside. Like, <laughs> like, it has nothing to do with my classes that I need to attend to right now. It's not going to help me get a better grade or anything like that. So I'm just going to put it aside because right now I'm in survival mode and I'm just trying to get a good grade in, in all my classes and also do my, um, you know, my full-time job or whatever. So like, I suspect at least half of the students that I send these letters to just don't even read them. Like they don't have time to read them. Um, I don't know. I kind of feel like if I guess for me, I, I sometimes um, will set things aside to read later, but even the act of like receiving it and knowing that it's there and that there's someone offering you like something that <laughs> is reflecting what things are going. And, it, and it's a letter of care. Like, I feel like each of your letters, they kind of, um, there was always that theme of like support or care in it. So so even just, I think, even just seeing it in your inbox, I think would make a difference. Personally, I don't know. <laughs> just a theory. <laughs> so. Glad to hear that. And I hope you're right. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I mean, at least you've been reading them, right? So, like, if that's the thing. If I only reach <laughs> it's been a, lot to a me, handful yeah. of people, you know, yeah. then it's been worth it, right? Absolutely. Yeah. And sometimes you don't, you just don't know what something means to someone or they don't respond back you know like I there's certain things where I I think about people in my past where I'm like man I should really write them a letter back in junior high you know (laughs) like where I I never got I never got around um never got around to like telling them but but that they'll never kind of know how much something meant you know meant to you or something but you know but like I said it has it has meant a lot to me reading them I felt I felt less alone I guess you know because I for a lot of a lot of the time especially kind of just you know being a a junior faculty member and starting all these new things these transitions and all that like um, not having as much of a chance to connect with my colleagues um, due due to the pandemic and everything it's um, it, it really it really means a lot as well as like kind of the I guess some of the readings and 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 sometimes like mutes even songs that you that you shared um made it it took me a while to kind of get through them because it was like you know I, I it was it was a it was an interactive experience I guess um reading those <laughs> there's a bunch of in jokes or not in jokes but in uh in references I guess mm-hmm. um so, like, if you're a BTS fan, <laughs> then you will have noticed that some of the lines that I used are from BTS songs, <laughs> um, but I don't say that explicitly in some of the letters. And then some of the, some of the references, like I quote from Tolkien sometimes, mm-hmm. um, and but I don't I don't put it in quote marks so like you don't know. There was a one letter that was specifically about Lord of the Rings, but there but there are a couple of times when I also throw it, just throw in a Lord of the Rings. Oh, that's awesome. Um, and Carl Sagan has been, has been great. Um, 